Good morning, fans. Privateer FX. Coming at you 21 November. Quiet. Another quiet uh, evening, quiet day in FX. Let's just take a look at the euro dollar here. Um, looks like there was some action yesterday, right? But that's a 20 point range. That's a 20 point daily bar. Uh, and until we can get out of this uh, 20 point, 30 point daily bars, FX uh, will be dead. Uh, we're short some dollar Swiss. We talked about it yesterday. Uh, but we're really waiting. Waiting to sell low ones in dollar Swiss. You can sell 70s, but really you want to wait to sell 40s. We do think this is going to happen. Traded down to uh, 91 last night. Dollar Swiss. Um, here we are at 06. Not too, not too far from our sell zone up there at 20. Um, point is, not much is going on in FX. Cable. 30 point bar. Looks like something's happening. Nothing's happening. Dollar Yen. Same. Same stuff. 20 point daily bar. These are daily bars, people. These aren't hourly bars. So, we talk a lot about FX here, um, but let's just all agree to agree about this agreement that FX is still dead. There's nothing going on. It reflects the bigger picture in small spurts, uh, but then just mean reverts. So where do we go from here? Uh, like we said, dollar Swiss. We will be selling 70s. We will be selling 40s. The risk has to be tight on those. If you sell low ones, that's still in play. We talked about Euro Aussie the other day. Um, we like this higher through 163.10. We traded 23 last night back here at 92. We weren't really following it uh, overnight. But look, Auss Euro Aussie looks like it's turned, and Aussie looks like in general it's loosened up and is turned and is ready to go lower. Printed an 85 low last night after getting stuck up there in the 30s uh, for a good long time. Let's talk about ES. We had a pretty big day yesterday, down to 91. Uh, so we got through the figure, but then we couldn't close through the figure, which is just, you know, pain in the ass if, for, if you're short. Um, so we did get short 11, 99, and we had to cut everything um, on that last hour of the close. Just tactically short there, no love. Um, we did gap down lower at the open, so we we closed at 09. We haven't closed that gap yet. Looks like we are going to close it eventually. I don't know what to say. Selling low ones just doesn't seem to work in ES. Um, not really sure. I'm pretty neutral here now. This could go either way. Uh, the news is, I th would say, universally bad. Uh, geopolitical news and global macro news. I don't know why this isn't being reflected in the price, uh, so I don't, I'm don't. i not going to buy it, but um, selling it doesn't seem to work or doesn't seem to pay, so we just leave it alone for now. Um, we had a good chance yesterday to close below 3100. We didn't do it. If you're of the philosophy that price never lies, um, price is telling you that things are fine. Um, in the S&P 500. Let's talk about boons. It's still core short boons. This is just one big sideways uh, monkey monkey business, sort of 172, 169. You can sell high ones, um, try and buy back low ones. We have our core short here. We've been suffering a little bit since we broke that 200 day at, at 170.30. Um, but we're in the neighborhood here, so we're just core short boons uh, sitting with that. Gold, we're not doing much. Aussie, we talked about. Um, 
as far as news today, we have um, jobless and new existing home sales in the U.S., Philly Fed. Um, these are moderately important. In, um, in Europe, we really have nothing. We've got industrial production from Switzerland. Oh, mercy, excuse me. Um, industrial production in Switzerland. So it should be a quiet, uh, quiet morning here in Europe. Um, not a whole heck of a lot to sink our teeth into. So I'm not going to like go over like all these amazing setups because in these vol conditions, I guess there's really no such thing as amazing setup. Although let's look at crude just quickly. What a clusterfuck that shit was. My God. You went from like crazy bearish on Tuesday. Wednesday opened up bearish down to 54.87. And then Alakazam. What the hell is that? Why does that happen? Uh, I don't pretend to know. I think most of you who follow this channel know how poorly I trade crude or how little money I make trading crude. Um, this is just to say that's a pretty bullish close. It's a pretty bullish bar. Uh, engulfed but didn't quite close above 25 as we would like I would argue at 5682 it's not really super telling um, but just to say how difficult crude is it just can't seem to get out of its own way a lot of times and in head in hindsight it often looks like it's trending but really what it's doing is just not doing too much getting bears excited and getting bulls excited and getting bears excited and if you if you dial back we've basically been sort of 5260 for seven months um, but it's intriguing now because of the Aramco IPO and all of the conspiracy theories that the Saudis are going to ramp this before the IPO I don't know I'm just going to stay away from it uh, but that's crude Quickly on to dollar CAD. Um, this looks constructive still. You got a chance to buy this stuff in the 80s after CPI. Uh, we still think that's a good little buy zone. Sort of 132, 70, 80 area should be support. Uh, we like this higher, similar to we to where we like Aussie lower. Not a great place to. <clears throat> to jump in here at 133.05, uh, you need to buy low ones on this and be patient because, listen, at the end of the day, even though dollar cad's moving a little bit more than the rest of the stuff, um, still dead. Euro cad also is uh, constructively higher. This will move in a much more lower volatility way, <laughs> if you need an even lower volatility than we have now. But you can buy this stuff down towards 20. So 147.20. This is broken through these these triple this triple top here and looks very, very constructive. Euro CAD. As you can see, I'm not too jazzed up about too much today. We have our uh, strategy there in Dollar Swiss. Uh, you can look to be getting short Aussie CAD. Um, it's a long dollar CAD, short Canadian dollar, short Aussie. Um, Aussie, you want to sell high ones, dollar CAD, you want to buy low ones, Euro CAD, buy low ones. S&Ps, uh, we're just waiting. We need something. We need some sort of daily signal to give us a, give us a clue there. And in general, we're just waiting. We're waiting for, for this whole volatility malaise to break. And until it does, we're just forced to be patient. And I would encourage you all to be patient as well. Good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow.